But I tell you what, I was thinking Belmadi might add a player to the squad after Amin Guiri withdrew a few days ago due to injury. And he has, but he's drafted in another goalkeeper, Mustafa Zugba, who was perhaps harshly left out. But I'll be honest, in terms of Belmadi bringing Zugba to the squad as the 26th player, I can't lie, what's the point? Like, what is actually the point? I don't get it. Why has he brought him in? He's literally rotting in the doldrums of the Saudi league. He's letting in four or five against El Etifaki, right, every week. We could have got... Ben Rama must be fuming. He must be thinking, what have I got to do to get back in here, right? Guiri's pulled out. Amora's out the first game with suspension. Surely Ben Rama's getting back in. Like, don't even have to use him. You just have him in the squad. He's gone for Zugba. That's unbelievable. I don't get that. Now, the word coming from the camp is that Rice and Bolly had a bit of a, an injury knock in training, so they want another goalkeeper to cover that position. He's not the first choice keeper anyway. Mandrea's the first choice. I suspect Mandrea will play every single game, unless he's injured. You've got Mbola here who's got a slight knock, but I doubt he will be that bad that he can't play a game if needed. You've got Ben Borton there as well, and you've got Zugba. So we've actually opted to take four goalkeepers to the cup, rather than a Ben Rama, or a Kadri, or a, a Bloomy, or anyone like that. I can't understand it. I get that on ball he may have got an injury in training, whatever, but he's not the first choice. If it's the first choice, it's very different. So I can't understand the logic. And remember, in the games, you can only have one keeper on the bench anyway. So it's a bit of a weird one. It's, it's a precaution. I think that's the, the word they use, the faff, in their statement. It's a precaution more than anything. But Ben Rama must be absolutely livid. Like, but Muddy's mocking it. He's picked a fourth keeper over him. That, to me, says if he ever wants to play for the national team again, going to have to be under a different manager so interesting to see that he's gone for Zugba so in the grand scheme of things it won't make too much difference I suspect assuming Mandrea stays fit and starts every game which hopefully inshallah he will so a bit of a weird one but um, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments down below and I've got to say it makes the Guiri injury even more weird well injury the guy was not injured when he came there was no suspected injury like when Awar or Mandy or Slimani came suddenly Guiri pulls up with his injury the night before the flight to Togo and goes back and then we don't get a replacement in the attacking left side. It's just a bit odd, guys. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm just going to go ahead with it and trust in the process. But trust between you and me, it seems a bit sus the way Guiri left. And then to not call an attacker, but we're going to call Zugba to back to cover Mbolhi, even though Mbolhi is probably going to be all right anyway. So it's a precaution more than anything. Um, but clearly Belmadi is happy with the outfield players he's got, despite Guiri going. So we've seen before when he when he brought Ben Rama for the Cameroon game and then didn't use him and Beniada played uh, right back and Atal played left back. It was a complete shambles. I don't know what's going to happen this time, but knowing our luck, Mandrea will get injured and, and Zugba is going to have to come in or I don't know. So let me know your thoughts down below. And um, it just seems a bit, of a, a bit of an odd one to me. Before I go, if you guys want to play... Uh, AFCON Fantasy. There's a link in the description to join my league. Bit of fun. I think it's good because not many times we get to play fantasy football and I love fantasy, like the game, that sort of fantasy. Like, you get to pick Algerian players, which is really, really cool, I think, in my opinion. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description to my league. you got to download the Real Fever app and then you pick your team, 15 players, same way it works like FPL. Uh, make one transfer every game week get a wild card it's pretty cool so this is my team it's been quite difficult to pick a team because some of the prices are ridiculous i have had to go really cheap in the defense uh the three algeria players i went for are ignore obviously mares because i think it'll be taking pens if we get any and amora at 5.5 million i think it's an absolute bargain bucket but of course he's missing the first game so i'll have to bench him in the first game but ozim and i had to have Haller, salah Mares, like I say, I like Kudus as an option, so I've gone for Kudus. I love Percy Tau because of the price point, but the defence is very weak. I wanted Hakimi, I really wanted a Morocco defender, but if you have that strong attack, like the price, the prices of the attackers, it's hard to get Hakimi because he's 6.5 million. So I've had to settle for the likes of Eight Nori and, and Junior Chamedo and, and, and people like that. So um, defence might be a bit risky. I've got Niakate as well in there, oh my god. Um, might tweak around with this, but let me know. Uh, if you want to play along, it'd be great fun. Completely free to play. Uh, link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.